Welcome to Byte Size Electronics. In this video, I want to show how to configure UART communication. First, we go to IOC file, then connectivity, USART 2, we'll enable it as, a, as an, an asynchronous mode. Then we'll keep everything by default so we have this bolt weight. And we have these two pins. Then we save. Then we can use the following function to send data through UART communication. So if we we have this function for initialization, so we need this variable. There we need some buffer and the size of this buffer. For that purpose, I'm going to create um, an array. Then we need to specify the buffer size and timeout. So I will usually set 100 milliseconds timeout. Then let's put 100 seconds, uh, 100 millisecond delay. So loop time will be 100 milliseconds. If you're using a nuclear board, you can send data to the computer through UART directly using the ST link. But if you're using something different, you have to have some serial converter and it's necessary to convert TX and RX lines of UR2 to the appropriate pins of the serial converter. Then what we need to do is to press debug. Then we need to resume. Next step, we have to check the communication port that we're using. Uh, on on Windows, just open Device Manager, and in my case, I have communication uh, port 5, but in your case, it might be different. Then you need to have some software to read uh, the serial data. In my case, I'm using this, this uh, software. Then we choose Serial, and we need to specify the bold rate. In our, in our case, we have the following rate. And as we saw, we have, I have communication port 5. Then if we press open, I'm receiving hello world. So let me try something different. Instead of hello world, let's say hello. Step. School. So if I resume. I have hello step school printing around 10 times per second because we have 100 millisecond loop time.